Hi guys, uh, this is Russell. So welcome to my channel. So actually tonight I'm going to show you a short tutorial on how to use Streamlabs uh, remote application on Android. So it's an Android application whereby um, you will be able to remotely control Streamlabs on your desktop just via the phone. So it will be similar to Stream Deck. So the nice thing is it's totally free so you're interested right so come on watch the video so what we need to do is actually go to your phone so i assume you have already streamlabs um, installed in your machine so i also assume you know already the basics and you know already how to set up to stream so I'll just will focus more on on how to use your so first thing first uh, you need to download <coughs> streamlabs or remote to your android phone uh, i'm not sure right now whether it's already uh, available in ios but for this particular tutorial i'll show you the on android so on your phone open a uh, play store uh, search for streamlabs and choose this one streamlabs uh, obs remote so this one is just a small size application just just install i'm recording my phone so i'll be able to show you guys So once you install, just open the application. Uh, allow access for the camera. And then for this particular case, we need to scan. So what we need to do is just go to here. And go to <coughs> mode control, click show. So once you have this one, just scan for uh, via your phone the streamlabs obs is actually trying to connect but as you, as you can see here we're not able to connect to streamlabs due to uh, connection error so what it says is um, make sure to, uh, you're connected via your phone on the same wi-fi connection or internet connection and also your pc so in my case i am really sure i'm connected to the same wi-fi or router so it's something to do with the firewall so on this uh i show you also how on, uh, on this video i show you how to fix that one <coughs> so what you need to do is go to here to the search uh by the way i'm using uh, windows 10 so if you have different windows version it might be fur I mean the looks but the steps should almost be similar so you can still follow these steps what you need to do is <coughs> search for uh, firewall okay go to advanced settings so go to uh, inbound rules click new and here choose program click next and then make sure this program path is uh, tick click browse and here um, browse where your actually streamlabs obs is installed on your machine so it might differ if you install in different path if you install in def default so most likely we'll, we will have the same path here so just choose streamlabs obs application type click open <coughs> click next and um, ensure allow the connection click next again untick the domain on my case because i'm not connected to corporate domain also i will untick public because i'm not connected to public i set my uh, connection to uh, private because this is my home uh, network click next then for the name i'll assign slobs inbound because as you know we are in the inbound rules 
to description so it's up to you what description you want to assign for me on my case this one is um, useful enough so i will know what it's for so it's up to you for me i will put it blank click finish and next thing is click for the out outbound rules painting new rule program uh, this program path same is exactly the same open next uh, allow the connection same click next then here i'll name as blobs outbound because this is for outbound finish this one is done so going back here let's try to scan again so i have my phone here let's try to scan okay so now we're connected so let's click down show you so here see uh, i have this um i have some buttons actually for streamlabs anyway i'm, I'm recording my phone so you will be able to see also and um right now in and in, in the intermission uh, scene so I'll, I'll show you if i click uh live scene tree it should go to live scene tree okay. this is my live scene tree so while you're actually streaming you can use your phone to navigate for example i want to enter to studio mode so it goes to studio mode if I want to go live or end my recording, I just, uh, I'll be able to uh, click all the buttons in my phone on my phone. So let's go back to intermission because that one is it got a bigger screen. I uh, remove the studio mode. It go back goes back here. And what else? So for example you can also control the uh, whatever object you put in your scenes even the sounds uh, you want to mute the desktop you want to mute your mic it's, it's here See here so just for example i wanted to hide the social media which is in, uh, on the top if I click the hide social media, so it goes out. Click again, goes back. So all you can control. And I put B right back. So it goes to B right back. So I think that's it guys. So I hope this video would be helpful for you for your uh, streaming uh, instead of using the stream deck so this one is a good alternative it's free the stream labs OBS is also it's also free so I hope um, I was able to help and if I do so please subscribe to my channel so it will be helpful for me also Thanks everyone and have a nice evening. See you back once again in the next video. Thank you.